Good evening, everyone. I am your host, Coffee Black, speaking to you from a very dark grads in southern Austria. It is the second week of January, the year of our Lord 2024. Here's what is going on in 3D printing right now. Okay, let's start with what is in the shop. So firstly, we recently announced the launch of pre-orders for the new FS1, S1 and T1 Delta printers. And man, do these look like absolute beasts. Let's start with the S1, build volume of 320 by 320 by 430, max speed 1200 millimeters per second. Acceleration is 40K, max flow rate is 110 millimeters cubed per second with a 350C hot end and an 80 watt heating cartridge or heating element i should say actually i don't think it's a cartridge this in addition to the current accoutrements that are common now on 3d printers being ai lighter detection ai camera intelligence detection uh, a bed that goes up to 120 status indicator lights full integrated touch screens the usual blah 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 blah, blah, blah. but 1200 millimeters per second 40k acceleration that is insane and all of this is enclosed by the way we also have the T1, which is kind of like the little brother with a build volume of 260 by 260 by 330, max speed of 1,000, not 1,200, but 1,000, which is still really impressive, a max acceleration of 30K, max flow rate of 90, 300C hot end, and blah, 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 same as before, although we do have a heated bed, which goes up to 110 only, only, oh, how disappointing. Like, hobbyists have done these sort of things already, but commercial enterprises have been always a little bit behind. There has been hobbyists who have done plus 1,000, even 2,000 millimeters per second speeds with 30 to 40k acceleration. You just don't see it with most commercial ventures. It's like, what was it? The, the, the Bamboo Lab had like 500, 600 millimeters per second, and the K1 was 600. All at a time when people like, uh, like VZBot was doing plus 1,000. So they, they have been a bit slow, but finally they are catching up a little bit. And I am very, very excited to see this. I have been satisfied with FL Sun in the past. Uh, we have the V400 right behind me. It's one of the most reliable printers I've ever used. I love it. So I am excited to see what these things are made of. We have, and I am very excited for this, our first CNC machine in the shop. This is the TTC 450 from Two Trees, and we have it down in the workshop in the basement right now. I'm dying to test it out. I've only done a preliminary test, but we will have a review video on YouTube for you guys in the near future. I don't want to say anything just yet because of that, but I am dying to try it. And this thing can print the usual, so like wood and and, and plastic, but it says you can also print soft aluminium, whatever that means. But I am going to try that for sure for the review video. Uh, it comes with a standard 80 watt motor, but you can upgrade to a 500 watt motor. So yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. Next up is the E3D Revo Roto, which is their newest generation extruder hot end combo designed to supersede the Hemera XS, which was a wonderful hot end extruder. Uh, but this has a planetary gearbox uh, with a reduction of 11.262 to 1. Ridiculously lightweight, it's only 146 grams with the heaviest version, that being the one with a filament sensor on top. Looks like it comes with a round EMA 14 motor and the heatsink is apparently 3D printed aluminium. Interesting. And of course the Revo ecosystem is built in, so easy nozzle swaps are possible. If you have it, you know it. If you don't have it, yeah, just get it. From the community, we have Nero 3D's open source Bamboo Lab firmware. This one is interesting. So uh, yeah, we got a teaser from Nero 3D giving us a glimpse of a custom firmware on the X1C. It's just a teaser, uh, but it looks great that members of the community are working on this. I love Bamboo Lab printers, I do, but I am an open source lover too. So I am happy to see this. It would be really lovely to have open source firmware on Bamboo Lab printers and hopefully we shall see a lot more details in the near future. And also just check out Nero 3D's work on, on YouTube. Some really, really nice stuff there. Check that out. In other news in the industry, the Prusa XL is now shipping with 0.4 millimeter nozzles. Uh, this one is kind of funny. Uh, so you remember how everyone started saying that 0.6 millimeter nozzles are that new 0.4 millimeter? So uh, I guess Prusa tried that, but... Uh, They've swapped back to 0.4 millimeter nozzles for higher fidelity when it comes to the printed parts. 
And this kind of throws open the, the question, is a 0.4mm nozzle better than a 0 06 it's kind of hard to say. For me, okay, first of all, in all of the printers that I have here and the ones downstairs, uh, they all have 0.4 millimeter nozzles except the, the Revo and except the, the V400 behind me. Uh, the V400 I usually just use for draft prints. It's super fast, very reliable, uh, but I, I use that for test pieces, basically. So uh, high fidelity prints are done on all of the other printers where I use the 0.4, of course. And for me, it does make a difference. I can see a difference between a 0.6 and a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I don't know what it is like for you guys, but speak your brains. Tell me your thoughts. In other Prusa news, we now have the uh, Prusa store. Ooh. So in the last couple of years, you've probably noticed some uh, pay per use uh, model hosting sites. You probably all know Thangs. We partner with Thangs. It's been great to partner with Thangs. Uh, they have a, a, a huge variety of stuff to download. Uh, and to pay for if you wish. Um, and they do a uh, leaderboard every week and we provide uh, vouchers for those winners. And it's just a wonderful way to support independent designers. So whether you like Prusa or not is is, is not the question here. Um, it's just nice to support independent designers. And that's why we decided to partner with Thangs. So everyone there can actually make use of our vouchers and, and buy whatever they want basically from our shop. If you are, of course, interested in Thangs, then I advise you to go over to the website. The link is down below. Check out some of the main designers there and download what you wish. And remember, always support independent designers. Right now, 2024 is looking quite bright for makers everywhere, as the current trends are actually focused more on streamlined performance. The big movers last year, those being Bambula, Prusa, uh, and Creality, uh, we have a ton of new, uh, just in general, uh, across the 3D printing community, we have a ton of aftermarket replacements and upgrades. Bamboo Lab have recently announced their motor noise cancelling feature for the X1 and P1 series, which is of course great. That was in the A1 uh, launch, which was just a few weeks ago, a month ago maybe. Um, and it's, it's nice that manufacturers are now focusing on streamlining performance in terms of firmware upgrades. Uh, rather than just jumping onto the next model. It's nice that Bamboo Lab have not forgotten about the P1 and X1 series, even though they have released the A1 Mini and the A1 Standard. Speaking of Bamboo Lab printers, we do now have some replacement hot ends in the shop for the X1 series, and we also have MicroSwiss upgrades for the K1 series from Creality, and of course, links are down below if you're interested of course, an open source X1C firmware is really great. So again, check out Nero 3D's video down below. Hope to see that soon. We also have CNC Kitchen's Volcano adapter. This is the version three, and it is a copper cord nickel plated adapter for a Volcano block. In case you are using a V6 nozzle and you have a Volcano block, this can kind of fill in the gap between the nozzle and the heat break. So you can use V6 nozzles with a volcano block, which is really awesome. We've got a bunch of anchor make replacements in the shop, as well as Elegu Neptune 4 series nozzles in brass, nickel coated, and of course in steel. Things are looking great for the future for those who need replacements and upgraded parts. I was a little bit worried last year when everything was proprietary this, proprietary that, but it looks great that we do have further options from uh, third-party suppliers for these printers. And so I am very happy about this. Okay, guys, that is everything for this round of community news. If you are, of course, interested in anything that we spoke about, all of the links are down below in the description. Uh, if you like what you saw, consider giving us a like and maybe a subscribe, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks for another video. Later.